YouTube team Bella and welcome to the channel. I am so super excited. I am here finally with my 2021 planner line up. Woo! Your girl is excited. So before we jump into the video and I show you what I have planned, let me get a thumbs up to tell me that you enjoy the video. Also comment below. What does your 2020 planner lineup look like? And last but not least, if you've not had the opportunity to join me and the other members of Team Bella, I would absolutely love to have you here. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button below and don't forget about the notification bell. And I cannot continue without shouting out my A1s from day one. Hey y'all, totally appreciate you. And thank you for joining me going into another year of um, YouTube and planning and sharing my love of planning. All right, let's get right into it. So um, I was thinking and what I was thinking was, you know what? I really will be different in 2021. I will not end up with all these planners. And guess what? The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> because every year I say that, yet I still end up with all these planners. I believe last year I had 19 planners that I started the year off with. I'm not that much better this year, so <laughs> we're not going to give me any credit. But I am going to be using them, uh, I think, in a much wiser way. So here are my planners. Now the first planner I'm going to show you will have four planners and I will be Franken planning. Make sure you stay tuned so you can see how I am going to set up or Franken plan these planners. So these planners will consist of this particular Franken planner is going to be my catch all planner. Okay. And it will feature the wild style planner. And I know in my, um, 30 days of planner commitment where I talked about not being committed to a particular planner, but being committed to the process. I emphatically stated, I do not like 18 month planners. So finally I can embrace wild style because it is now an officially a 12 month planner. So <laughs> I'm excited about that. So this will be my um, main planner. So this is where I will plan like my meals, um, I'll notate any bills I have to pay, so on and so forth. Now currently this year, the first six months of this planner, I use this as my social media planner. And to be honest, I don't think that it was effective. So I'm gonna switch the layup. I'm going to switch the layout around to see if that will help me be more productive and effective with the use of the planner. So yes, I'm going back to old school, that is right, vertical planning. So I'm excited about that, not that I left, but I typically don't show um, me planning in this planner on my channel. All right, so boom, that is our vertical layout. Then we will come over here to this um, brand new day planner. Once again, it is now a 12 month planner. And this is the dashboard layout, of course, very neutral, I love it. And so we'll be using this for my social media planner. I am adding two new things to my lineup. So because I couldn't choose, oops, this is not the right planner. Look at that, so many planners, I don't even know what the right planner and the wrong planner is. <laughs> All right, so because I could not choose on which layout I wanted to use. So this is the wellness planner, very neutral, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to have the shaded area and want to use it. And it won't go with a lot of, a lot of my spreads. So, and that's the color scheme throughout. So what I thought is because I really never used a wellness planner, I, what I thought I would do is I would alternate. So I'm going to actually do one month of this wellness planner. And the fitness planner is essentially the same layout, just different um, headings. 
This one's more neutral, still very kind of colorful, but I think I could rock with this versus that, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to do uh, my fitness planner first. I'm gonna start in a fitness. So one month of fitness planner, the next month the wellness planner, one month the fitness planner until I determine which layout is going to work best for me. So these planners will make up my catch-all planner. Okay, so that's four planners there, not bad. Next, we will go to my budget planner. So my budget planner will, um, I'll be using the undated budget edition that just came out in the winter release. So this will be my budget planner and you don't wanna miss the setup in here and what I'm going to be doing in this planner. So we have that one. And then I'm going to Franken plan it with this budget um, Disney journal. And I did do a flip through on this. I will attach it up in the cards if you wanna take a look to see the various props. So I'm, I will be adding this in as well. Okay, so that's budget planning. So that's, we're up to six planners. Faith planning. So um, I chose this vertical line planner first and foremost because since the original Glam Girl, there has not been this type of vertical planner. And yes, um, it is pretty colorful and it's not neutral, but what I do like about it, other than the lines, is that the color is pretty thin. And today in my faith planner, I typically, typically use washi to cover these areas anyway, and it's been working. So if it's not broke, why, why fix it? So this is going to be where I do my daily, um, my daily scripture writing. Um, and I use the daily text. So it'll be here. I write the scripture, the text and, and the key points. And so that's one part of it. Then for my personal Bible study, I have brought this everything leopard planner into the lineup because it is super neutral and I love it and it serves the purpose. So for my weekly congregation Bible study, this is where I will write. And I do, I do decorate it, but I also, um, I don't use the days of the week and I always try to make the spread in this planner coordinate with this one. So those two for my faith planners. So where is that? That's six, that's eight planners, right? But this is a, these are two big planners. So this one you guys may be familiar with. I started it this year with the re relationship planner concept and I want to continue with that. I found that it just made my, my relationship interesting to really go in and, um, to do the various different um, challenges I had, communication challenges and everything. But I'm starting January off with this book, Communication Skills, Love More, Fight Less, a relationship workbook for couples by um, Gina um, Sinrengehi. I think that's how it's pronounced. But it has exercises and things in here as well. So if you guys are interested in... Um, purchasing this book I can put a link I will put a link in the description below um, to where I, I purchased it on Amazon and even if you're not in a relationship it is good to have great communication skills and then maybe when you find that partner it will equip you with you know how to read you know other people's uh, communication and adjusting your communication because sometimes you yourself are the problem you may have the tone and it's not your partner. So this can help you like this with establishing emotional consent. So that is kicking off January 2021. All right. And then, of course, I have the love letters, a lettering planner. And I will be participating in, according to Allie, her lettering challenge. And I did buy the inserts um, for... Uh, this so that I can definitely practice. So stay tuned. I do have an unboxing also coming up um, on tomorrow's video and where you can check out um, the lettering um, filler paper that I picked up in my latest haul. All right. So where does that put us? We're at 10, right? So what I'm going to do, um, currently I track my husband's, um, his pay for our budget and I use a mini planner and it was the um it was the planner babe 
mini and that is running out in December. So I'm going to move to this skinny mini. And yes, there will only be six more months left in it, but this will be a perfect footprint to tally up those numbers. So that's what I'm going to use this for. This mini is a horizontal mini that I picked up and it's one of those, I think it's an 18 month one for sure. No, it's a 12 month. It was 20, June 2020 to June 2021. So this mini planner I'll be using for brain dumping. I want to challenge myself to brain dump every night. Um, there are just some really therapeutic benefits to brain dumping. Um, and I'm going to do it before I go to bed. So this one will reside by my bed. It is horizontal. So I should be able to, you know, it's not too much for me to do, but definitely um, writing in there every night before I go to bed to try to release so that I can rest. So I'm going to be using that one. And then this one is one that I picked up. It was like $4 at Joann's. And this is the one I've been featuring for my Motivational Monday quotes. So I probably will alternate between uh, decorating these two for Motivational Monday, depending on how I feel. But this one will be my, um, once everything opens back up on my on the go planner. And then this one, of course, is my brain dumping planner. So I almost forgot this beauty. So this is the Biz Babe planner and I plan on just using the cover for this. Um, this was one of the ones that I ordered from um, a set on um, HSN and I'll make sure that I include this in the cards. But as I was going through editing the footage for the video, I noticed that I forgot to tell you what I'll be using this for. So this is gonna be my work planner and it's going to be a daily planner set up. So make sure you also join me for that. That puts us at 13. And then um, the next planner is this Print Pressions Weeks. This is my B6 planner. And I liked, first of all, this is an undated planner, so I can pick it up and down when I want to. I will be picking this back up. I like to use um, decorate with sticker kits in this. So I will be using this. And this is where I actually record exactly what happens for the day. So I pre-plan in terms of the actual spread and color scheme. And then when I'm doing my memory planner, which will be this, this is a wonton in a million A5 wide insert. And I'm just trying it out for the first time. The paper feels really nice. And I saw this on planning Kalos. And it seemed to be a pretty good footprint to go ahead and decorate. I think the thing that I probably need to consider is to, and I may go ahead and place an order to get the monthly insert because I also like to decorate with monthly kits. And one of my favorite planning, uh, one of my favorite sticker shops, Planning City, she's going to start doing monthly kits and I want to be able to use the monthly kits. So more to come on this one. Hopefully this is a great footprint. Um, I like it because um, it should fit the standard vertical stickers. There's no coil in my way. So this should be pretty interesting. So again, that's an insert for one wonton in a million. So we ended up at 17 planners. I'm two down, two less than I had last year. And um, that is my lineup. And I do think that, you know, I have a purpose for each of these planners. And some of them I will not be in every day. So, for instance, the, um, the, the relationship planner, unless the book is directing us to do something every day, I won't be in that every day. My catch-all planner, I will be in every day. My faith planner, every day. My budget planner, I will be in there frequently, but um, that is my 2021 planner lineup. And I hope you stay tuned to see how I set all of these planners up. All right, guys, I hope you are having a great into your week and I will see you soon. Ciao, Bella.